Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I'm Connor O'Reilly, and today I'm joined by the man responsible for me even being here in the first place, playing disc golf, my little brother Callahan. Uh, Callahan, we're here at Zoker. We probably played Circle C, what, the first like 20 times that I played, and then yeah. eventually started venturing out. Zoker was one of the first places we hit. It's a staple in Austin disc golf, fun for any level of player. Pretty windy today. We got a little stipulation on the round. We're playing for lunch. Winner, obviously losers, gotta pay for lunch. But I can only use one disc. However, the disc of choice for me is gonna be my Tour Series Penny Putter and that Founders Glow Plastic. If you haven't yet had a chance to check one out, they're flying great, and this video is gonna show you exactly how they're flying on a bunch of different angles. Don't forget code CLOVER20 is gonna save you 20% at checkout, so if you go buy a stack, you can save a little bit of money, get to figure them out, have some backups, you know? Cal, how many times do you think you've played Zoka in your life, and how excited are you to go uh, rip some discs in It's a good room? question. I want to say probably between 30 and 50, maybe, somewhere around then. For sure. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just excited to have lunch on Connor today, um, so it's going to be excited. You know, nice round, nice and windy today, so we'll see if we can uh, get a couple birdie opportunities. In the he, has a more, he has some more options to him, more overstable, so we'll see if he makes some good selections and is able to fight the wind, where I got to kind of hit a really crispy angle with my penny putter. Certain holes in this wind are going to be almost untouchable for me, but it might help on certain holes as well. Also, we got a $100 ace on the line, so. Before we get going, I just gotta thank Lone Star Discs, Gorilla Disc Golf, Chump Chalk Bags, OTB Discs, and Discology. I won't be carrying my Discology bag today since I just have one disc, but that's usually what you'll see me rocking out on the course. Cal's gonna break down hole one for us, and uh, yeah, guess go first, so. All right, what we got here? We got hole one out here at Zilker, par, par three is pretty straightforward. 245 feet a um, couple options here you can kind of just go with the straight most people will probably throw some t sort of putter here mid-range um, us noodle arms we tend to go with a, an easier route so I'm gonna take a, a, a mid or a uh, fairway disc and see if I can just flick something out there and give myself a little putt here um, yes yes sir here we go Sticky ground it's gotta play. sit down. Oh, you know, I'll let you go too off the yeah, top. Yeah, I'm going you know, to. I got to. Get your, your there we go. Oh, the adjustment. Can he dunk it? Oh, mm. Cal going for that hundred dollar ace to start on us. Needs it. Needs it. All right, y'all know the drill. Tour series penny putter. These things glow beautifully. Fly on any angle. Looking for a little bit of Annie out of the hand here have that tailwind kind of smash me down, play my distance control. And that's pretty textbook there. All right, right in line, got a putt to make. If you buy one of these penny putters already, then you probably have one of these sweet CO cowboy hat glow minis. Been loving mine so far. A little meat on this bone here, you know? I don't typically putt the penny putter, so. I gotta put a little extra hyzer on my putts today. Oh, over adjusted. Gotta settle for par, y'all. Ooh. Cal had a chance, door was open. Mmm. One of my main goals is to get double digits down with one disc if I can, so I gotta, gotta chip away. Can't have too many on the front nine get away from me. Main Woo quest beat Cal. Side we'll shake you there. Ten down. <laughs> Pair of pars on one. We'll do better. So we may or may not have pulled a rookie mistake, pulled up to the course, realized we left the tripod at home. So we have this little six inch tripod we're using today. Some of our angles might be a little bit low, but hopefully it's still digestible for you guys. Hole two, far three, 240. This oak tree on the right blocks any hyzer lines unless you want to play something really low. Straight shot is kind of in play. Turnover gives you the most ceiling. So I'm gonna go give it a little bit of height, let it work left or right. Oh, 
Oh, that might have a chance. Come on. Oh, boy. I thought Cal owed me 100 there. I'm going you. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, Cal playing the straight shot. Keeping it simple. Oh, it's so soft, but it's okay. It's a good line. It's a good line. Whoa. <laughs> We're doing a little rude action. Good clean, good clean. All right. Gotta knock this one in. I forgot about the fact that using one disc in this hot Texas sun, my disc is gonna be a little soft, so I'm gonna have to get there, mm -hmm. mark my disc quick, hide it in the shade, let it stiffen it back up for me on the putts, you know? Pro plays. I should have brought, brought an ice chest. <laughs> Try it in there, get a little cold, all cold, you know? Hole three is a 240 foot. 244 foot par three. Um, clear little fairway here on the right that most people are gonna take. Got a nice big double oak tree there at the, the end of the fairway that's gonna kind of split your, your your fairway into two and you gotta make a decision whether you wanna go left of that or you wanna stay right of it. Um, I'm gonna take this Firebird and kind of just flick it right at the tree and pray that I just, you know, make a path. So, we'll see. Okay, I'll birdie from there. All right, I gotta go flat, maybe touch of Annie, just try to shave it to the right side of that middle tree Cal was talking about. If I give this one enough height and just a touch of turn, this will be a cool one to get. Oh, we got through. Ooh, touch a turn, not quite the right height, but good shot. Oh, almost dropped the 45 footer on us. He had a little headwind off the right shoulder, kept his disc in the air, otherwise good read there on the putt. Right at that bullseye edge. Two down through three. Playing hard. <laughs> I think it was last year at some point we lost original hole three and four. Cal Salty, because he aced original hole three. Um, but to me, the new three and four really add a couple gaps that weren't really available on the course before. And they add some holes that are probably in the upper echelon of difficulty. Top third of difficulty probably for this hole here. Last one definitely plays in the harder half of the middle of the holes. Um, so I really like the addition of these two holes. Is what I'm trying to say. Long-winded version, you know me. First here is Penny Putter. Lone Star's killing it with the two foil stamps. Getting those green clovers with the contrasting silver or black backdrop. It's gonna require quite a bit of hyzer out of the hand here to get it to fight this headwind. Let's see if we can get there. Missed my release timing early, and uh, yeah, we got us a little 100 foot scramble. All right, so Connor got talking about gaps and how I'm salty about hole three being gone, so I figured I'd just take the gap out of this. I'm going over. Ooh. Um, so gotta get it up quick. When we first started playing, Cal used to stomp me out with the tomahawk, and uh, no doubt yeah. about it. It's always Eventually in the my skills got good enough to kind of compete with that, but at first, he would ruin me with the tomahawk game. In the back of the tee? Ooh. That's so soft. Yeah, you take the gap out of it. Oh, that's so bad. Take the gap out of it. <laughs> don't, got, don't got the shoulder I used to. <laughs> I got to throw it again. That's a Jake Wolf taught me. Oh, shoot. You got the distance on that one. Four! I think I killed someone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Skip up. Go in. Oh! Good shot. About 80 feet here. Left to right crossing wind. Penny player thrives in long distance putts. 
Not when you turn it, though. Well, I'm walking out with far. I think since my blue bonnets are so beefy, I'm so used to having to play like an anti release from that 80 footer I just putted that it kind of just naturally came out with that blue bonnet angle. Penny, a little more hyzer forgiveness. Hole five, another part three here. We got 232 feet, pretty much just straight over this walking path. A um, little bit of hyzer back to, or anhyzer back to the right. Something that's gonna straighten out on you. I'm gonna see if I can take this whale and float her on in. Sit. Solid pace. Okay. A little left. Be about pin high. This hole is tailor made for the penny putter. If you haven't already gone to the website and bought one, what are you doing? Don't forget, code Clover20. Gets you lucky shots and saves you money. It's a no-brainer. Little baby Annie here. Oh, I needed a big baby Annie. Pushed it deep. We got a putt coming back about 24 feet. I think I disagree. By you by a foot. I think I disagree. We got a third party. Walk it off. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, Almost twenty-six. I'm gonna guess Cal's about twenty-eight. Let's see. He's guessing wrong, folks. One, two. He said twenty-eight. Three, I'm gonna say I'm about twenty. Four. Five, six, seven, about 25 eight, nine, flat. Ten, 11, like one foot shorter. 12, him. 13, Don't do the boot. 14, 15, 16, oh, you see him, how he's stepping 17, all sideways 18, and stuff. 19, see. What'd you do? 20, right here, lock in. 21, 22, 23, 24, mm. 25, mm. 26. Dang, we're like the same. Mm, what'd I say? I'm closer. I'll go first. It's all right. I'll no, make I it. I got you. No, no, I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks for walking it out for me, though. <laughs> Don't even put the pressure on me. Don't I even like trip. it. Psychological warfare, folks. Mm, Let's go. Lucky. First frame. Good hole. Good hole. Luck. All right. Hole six. First hole that I ever aced. Played the champion Max Spike forehand. Got a little lucky. I'm gonna kind of take a similar line off to the left here today with the penny putter. You can also play the sneaky straight at it line, which I'm honestly thinking about taking. You know what, let's do it. No, I don't like it, you're right. Annie has more chance at ace, so. Internal take the dialogue Annie line. there. He just told himself he's right, by the way. <laughs> Always right, as long as you have conviction. Get lucky now. Oh, hold on now. Ooh. Oh wow, we're out. Got caught up. We're gonna have a 40 footer there. Whoops. Middle inside. All right, I'm gonna just take a little Thunderbird forehand. Firebird. That's definitely a, a Firebird, not a Thunderbird. What I say? Um, just forehand that in there. I'm hoping that this fights through those trees. I think there's more, some foliage up there. I want to get through, so. That's so sawed off, it's not even funny. Well, you might actually get. Wow, it's actually okay, because it got caught down. Yeah. Thanks, Trees. That's the off. foliage I was talking about. I barely cleared the out of bounds road. And you know what, maybe I should go to that little Ezra Aider hold stiffer. You know, I saw him working it at Texas State. What's the window? Oh my gosh, I thought I, thought I cashed it. Thanks, you hear that sound? That's that door creeping open. <laughs> okay, I got a chance to grab a stroke back.
Next hole. Next hole. All right. Hole seven. Got 353 foot. Par three. Got road OB on the right. Sign is just telling me road going across is inbounds. I got Connor telling me it's out of bounds. I'm going to pray I make it there and then we can dispute. Um, there's just people and cars everywhere. So this is, let's just pray we're not killing someone. Martin Springs is popping today, y'all. Cal play in the high route. Four. That's got to come back. Next. Come on, climb up. Oh, Cal. I would not, would not recommend. But Cal can try another once this, this wave of people is gone. Yeah, that was crazy. There's so many people. I'm gonna be a responsible disc golfer. Yeah, I should have waited. Wait. I mean, I was definitely confident, but I, I just knew I wasn't going to, I was going to hyzer it, and I did. <laughs> no, you're fine. Thank you. <laughs> I'm debating whether I want to play the high shot or just rip a hyzer flip at it, but I don't know what the wind's doing right now. Left or right? Win playing games. Ever so slightly. I'm just gonna rip it straight at it on Heiser Flip. 350, penny putter, no problem. Oh my God, y'all, the line on that was so good. Lost my glasses. Matty O style, whoops. I said Matty O style. That was when I get there. Oh no, get around. All right, so soft, it's okay. Man, I'd love to see if that thing would've got pinned high. I feel like it would've caught the tree here. Try to ring up the toss in, safe view. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all can see on touch lines, on power lines, the disc can handle a lot of different speeds. Still flies beautifully straight. Played the drop, wind didn't give it to him. Good clean, good clean. Ah, this is a hole I really wanted, but not today. Hole eight is 281 feet, straight as the arrow flies, which is perfect for the penny putter. We used to have a cedar tree or a juniper tree leaning, blocking a lot of shots there. Now it's on the ground, so it'll still stop some of the lower shots, but it no longer frames this hole the way it used to. A little tailwind feels like. Too flat on it, and it holds the angle the whole way, like the penny putter likes to do. Pin high though, good putt. Needed a touch of it. Got my FD S line, nice and soft how I like it. See if I can just send one down the middle here. Hold up, Cal. Oh, <laughs> rude. That cedar the car was talking about. Gobbled it up. A little anti-skip. We could have had some action there. Mm. Clutch foot. Needs it. I got these branches kind of in my sight line here. Going to have to bring my back leg a little further back. This will allow me to kind of lower my body if I want to stick to this stance here. Went 
Which y'all know I want to stick to this stance. Come on. Darn it. Son of a. One hole to go here on the front. All right, good putt. Hole nine here at Zoker, signature hole here, 188 feet straight in front of you. Got the road behind it, OB. Uh, nothing to do here but just give it an ace run. So we're gonna take this brand new penny putter Connor gave me with this sick stamp I got. I can throw it for the first time and send her home. Penny putters only do one thing, y'all. Ooh, just barely too much angle, but you can see just. Okay. All awesome right. The first throw. I'm not mad at it. He didn't know exactly how it was gonna act. All right, this is a hole that's just tantalizingly right there in front of you. OB is long though, so you do have to have pace control if you want to run this one. I'm gonna try to go straight and true at it. Fade, quickly. Oh, uh -oh. That's one of them. oh, wow, look at that pace control. Straight touch. I throw that high back when I first started playing, guaranteed across the road probably, but. Your boy got it. Penny putter first flight. Got away from us a little bit. Gave ourselves a little circle's edge maybe. Just outside. I need this one to fall. Sit down. Damn. Nope. All right, on the deep side. Y'all saw that. Pulling up some grass for the wind read. My mini flip. Put it back. Left to right-ish wind. He airballed it. What in the world? Mm. I needed that for five down on the front, y'all. To get to ten, I'm gonna. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to climb on the back. I knew the wind was gonna drop it, and I just. Spoke it into existence, kind of. Wow. That one hurts, let me tell you. Needed that, fellas. Got away with one there, I feel like. Well, apparently right now at Zoker Park, every hole is a pedestrian walkway, so, you know. Sorry, didn't realize that was the course there. It's all right. <laughs> it's all good. It makes sense now. No, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hole 10, traditionally gonna be the hardest birdie to grab on the course when you have a full line of discs. I've only got my penny putter, so maybe not ideal for a low ceiling 370 footer. I do believe I can get it there on a perfect shot, but I'm gonna have to really flirt with this crossbar. Tailwind's gonna wanna pull it out of the air a little bit. I'm almost tempted to hit this gap in the sky and just have the disc like flip up for me through the flight. Where? <laughs> but I don't know. Gap in the sky? In the what? I know if I hit the gap with enough power, I can maybe get there. Let's try it, yo, this oh time. Oh, gosh. I heard people used to throw shots out here before these trees grew down on it. We're gonna go well, homage to the old school. Oh, I hit it, come on. Hold the turn. Oh dang, it held off to the left. And I'm up, the, up there for a pitch up. If I got a little more angle on it, I hit the window exactly how I wanted. I just needed it to ride up and turn to the right. And I think I might've actually been back into view. I tried it for y'all. <laughs> Never done it before. Hey, we're on the back. We're gonna give Cal, Cali style, He's gonna have an extra shot to choose off the tee on the approach or on the green on any hole he wants, so. Try to get him back in this thing. Okay, that one's out there. Okay. Where's he using the scally? You keep no, it? no chance. Right, keep it for now. No chance I'm using it off okay, the tee okay. like that. <laughs> I know myself better. These people down here trust me far too much. They must have never seen me throw a disc. I'll give them a reason to trust me though. Apparently they don't want to move y'all. I'm gonna just take a little penny putter. Booker's gonna need some more signage for showing today. 
Otherwise, there's a lot of comments. See if I can float one at them, scare them a little bit, and flash at the basket. Oh, coming at you. There's that magnet. Oh, making them dance. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't say I didn't see that coming. Caught the top of this oak tree. Otherwise, if I had some turn, I'm, I was going to get there, y'all. I'm going to try that line again in the future. It was fun. A little headwind tossing. See if I can ring it. A little soft on it. Thought it was going to lift on me. Boo. Honestly, that deserves booze. Put them in the comments. Boo. Thumbs down in the comments. Par three. This is a tough par three, but these are all par threes. Yeah, so there's different discs, like these are like putters. You got ones that are different shaped and they're meant to go further. They're you know, fairway drivers and drivers and all that good stuff. So you get to pick which ones you get. And Spreading the good word of disc golf out here today, y'all. Might have to set up my disc after the round, get some right. good, take some main plastic out for the peeps. Well, good thing oh. I get a mulligan. And I missed them both. Oh, shoot, I forgot about his Cali. I stepped <laughs> into the view. Well, so we're, he's better than me, so I'm playing like I get I get a, a free extra shot. Okay. Um, Ten, so never terrible, to make it even. especially when you own the stone putter. Pretty, that's okay. That's, yeah. Okay, so yeah. You, one of those losing Nope, it just has to land in the basket. Oh, okay. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. We'll pick Cal up. We trust him. Hole 11, 248 feet. Pretty much straight down the fairway. They've got this big uh, oak tree that the basket's tucked behind. Got the, the highway on the left. I'm gonna see if I can uh, forehand this firebird and try and skip my way in there. Hopefully get myself a chance for a birdie. Maybe take a flash at, a, at an ace. Get down, get left. Get lucky. Do something different. All right. Definitely easier to ace this one with the forehand as a righty. I'm gonna try to beam a little Annie in there with my penny putter. It's a good Jeez. line for birdie, we'll take it. I never forget some of the first times me and Cal came and played this course. <laughs> These crepe myrtles were a little smaller at the time, but I was just terrified about throwing my disc into the access road here, because all I knew how to do was fluff a hyzer. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of just cool to come back to those courses you played when you first started and see the progress throughout the years. Good putt. Line frame. All right, I gotta start making some moves. I need five birdies. How many holes? Seven. Let's go. Hole 12 is slightly up the hill, 260 feet. Left and a right gap available. You gotta pick a side on this V tree, this oak right here. Or you can split right through the middle of that oak tree, which that's kind of what I wanna do right now. Blast it straight, see if I can get lucky through the oak and give it an ace run with the penny putter. Oh, I turned it. Gonna have to work some magic on that one. Awful. Connor left the door open a little bit for me. Let me see if I can take this Explorer, get myself a nice little putt at this. Steal one back from him. Molly. Goodness. Sneak around the left side of the tree. Oh. All right. Most of mine. I have an opportunity. A little out of position here, and I have a tree to deal with. I have to do a little falling putt here. Shade's coming off. It's getting real. Can't crush the shades when I bang this one. Yeah, you are. 
I wanted it. Opportunity to take one back from Connor. A little low ceiling putt here. Get down. Oh. I do like that Cal's miss has been consistently high and committed, you know, said something about it. Oh, high and committed. <laughs> to be fair, it's super windy today, y'all, and it has been for a couple weeks here in Texas, it feels like. Springtime in Texas. It's really still me, huh? Yeah, yeah. YSO. There it is. Man, I thought I cashed out for y'all there. That was like the equivalent of taking a charge of basketball, you know, body on the line for the team. All right, hole 13 is one of the longer holes here at Zilker. 325 feet down the hill a little bit. We got the power lines hanging down from the right. A um, couple of options here. You can take the big uh, either Anheuser over the top or forehand flex, or you can just go uh, Heiser and try and take it through the power lines. I'm going to take a uh, destroyer, see if I can just kind of forehand, maybe get a little flex out of it, just get some distance down here. That's a lot more flex than I wanted. <laughs> Play hard. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Sit down. Sit Hit down some. for dinner. Pin high, pin high. Left to right wind kind of carried that one. All right. 325. I often go spiking Heiser on this one, but any putter is not necessarily the best for that, especially with the left to right wind. So, I'm going to play a straight over the top shot that kind of just hopefully drops down like a rainbow at the end. Over the top, drop down. I mean, it did what I wanted. I needed a little bit more forward penetration. It kind of dropped straight and back, but we're up there with some kind of look. Got the end of this canopy here. I almost cleared myself to the basket. A little more energy on that shot, and I think I had the right idea. Pretty fun line to throw. 60 footer. Fade out, buddy. Man, I need to start aiming left side of the basket a little harder, even from out here. Any player's got a nice straight flight. All right, found myself tucked behind this tree over here. See if I can get a little lean out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we'll be here all day, fellas. God damn it. Pick up some trash, a little coarse karma for the next one, maybe. Tell me drop an A, you know? Par. Don't hate it. Hole 14, 264, also slightly up the hill. Nothing in the way of the straight line, even a slight hyzer available for a right-hand player. Wind off the right side. we we'll play a flat shot with the penny putter. Holden caught the last thing up oh, by the tree, and look at that curl up and roll. Those are the type of things that you can expect to see when you use code Clover20 <laughs> and go buy a penny putter right now at LoneStarDisc.com. Got the penny putter. See if I can try and mimic what Connor did. Get up. Cal yeah, showing off penny putter. Okay. Just need a little more height. Good line though. Ooh. 
penny putter park jobs don't ever get old, y'all. The gift that keeps on giving. Gift yourself one and gift your game the abilities that I will grant you. You beat me about Got to birdie every one now. <laughs> I'm only down by about 10 strokes. Come back. Hole 15, 309 foot. Got the mando tree on the right. Um, kind of taking away any straight shots. You pretty much have your Anheuser or you got a forehand option. I'm gonna take this boss, see if I can whip a forehand up there. Just get around. All right, it's okay. This is definitely gonna be one of the harder holes for me to play with the penny putter, especially into a 20 plus miles per hour headwind. I'm debating whether I wanna kinda of play it lower try to get it to work right and maybe slide up since the ground's pretty dry right now or play it up in the air and test the canopy. I think I'll try the lower line, try to drag it over. If that stays up, come on. Okay, hopefully got a little nose slide there. Might be C1 even. Shallow C2 look with a ripping Left to right headwind. Okay. It's not coming right at me. Stuck. Big moment. Oh, it was so clean. I just needed to be left once again, every time. I gotta get one back here. This isn't even for me. This is for y'all. This strong ass headwind. That's not it. Platter adjustment and he drains it into the headwind. Player B. Now stealing a stroke back. Big moment. Big moly action. Good two, good two. Man, gotta go quick before the wind comes back. I now need some kind of miraculous ace on three of the kind of harder holes on the course in order to get to my 10 down number I was hoping for. I'm debating whether I gotta play the float shot over the top here as this one's tucked left, or just take this inside gap. I'm gonna try to hit the gap. A lot of hyzer. Oh. Holy cow. Wow. I mean, that thing. Touched that stick and it just kept correcting to straight like the couldn't, penny putter wants to do. <laughs> couldn't have been tighter on that edge there. Beam line. Let's go, oh, y'all. Park job. All right. We're going to go with Old Faithful here. The old Tommy. Wind at the back. There goes my arm. Carried the distance. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Shoulder, RIP. Cow's retiring after this round now. Ah, oh, that's it. So soft. Do it. Oh, I was about to say player A laid it up so player B can bang it. I pushed deep. Facing the headman on the putt back. Aiming left side of the basket this time. And I corrected. Holy, she's rolling. We're thinking it, y'all. Just got to put it in there. Just got to trust your instincts. Instead of trying to be a robot. Now we need two aces. I don't know about it. All right, it's been a while since I've been out here at Zilker. I was pretty confused stepping up to 17. Those of you who've played here before may know there used to be a beautiful oak tree parked right in front of this basket. I mean, it had to be near 100 years old. But giant bad boy, but I guess it, one of these recent storms took it out. Um, really opens the hole up. Now it's pretty much just a straight shot. We got a strong headwind coming off this field. So I'm just gonna take this Raider, see if I can just 
keep it low, fight through the wind a little bit, give myself a little advancement. Kept it low. Stay up. Huh. All right. Ripping headwind. I got to go two speed. Let's see if I have the finesse. Put some smooth power on this thing. Oh. Penny putter's great. I don't know about a headwind fighter at 320, but everything else, it does amazing. Sit. And I guess I take another stab at it. All right, time to send a prayer. All right, we're in danger after that sloppy upshot, y'all. Of possibly first bogey if we don't sling this thing in there. Okay. Thought he cut through the back on me, y'all. Bogey free. Sad to see that one of the two replacement trees is already crispy out of there. Don't need to replace that one. Picking a wind advisory day to come out here with just a neutral flying two speed. Not the easiest conditions, especially for this back nine. But Holy Teen should be pretty scorable with this wind setup. 307. Penny pointer. One last opportunity to leave. Hopefully with a birdie. Maybe with some fireworks. No much hyzer, but it's just gonna go straight on me. Cause that's what penny putters do. Better than almost anything. They hold, even on the angle. Hole 18. Boy hadn't shown up today. Let's see if we can just go out with some dignity here. Give myself a good look. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, player B. Take the Raider. Do the math. Just crunch hyzer. Except it's not crunched. It's really soft. Get up. Final chance to redeem my penny putter putting skills. Let's go. Finish on a birdie. Seven down, penny putter, wind advisory. Not the worst. We'll take it. Where are we getting lunch, Cal? We got so many good options. And I guess you get awesome. to decide, because I'm buying. Is there a limit on the money we're going to spend? So what's the limit? Two monies on Google. That's always the limit, unless it's specified off, off, otherwise. You know, then you Two can go to those, those 50 to 100 spots might be in play. You know, Thank you guys for watching today. Big thanks to Cal for showing out and trying to give us a run for that lunch money. But fortunately, Penny Putter held strong today. Got the job done. You guys got to see it on a bunch of different powers and angles. So if you're curious how it's flying, this video is gonna show you that. Obviously it was windy today, so not the ideal conditions for a neutral flying disc, but it is what it is. You gotta make do with what conditions you have on the course every day. Cal, it's been a while since you played, but it was fun to have you out. Uh, yeah. What are your plans and practicing, preparing for the next battle we have? Oh, you know, like you said, you know, I show. I uh, you said showing out. I don't know if I showed out today. I showed up, but um. Showed up. So next time, I think we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board a little bit. I think I might have to get a couple practice rounds in before I get back to playing against them. It's been a while, so it's always fun getting out here and playing with you guys, though. So yeah, we'll give Cal more than a morning it. of heads up next time, so he can be in the backyard at least keep that putt crisp, you know. Um, and thanks to Megan for. For filming for us as always this go will probably be the last video in austin for quite a while maybe until even november or something so we'll miss the atx we love you guys thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe we'll see you soon adios